Welcome into the Sacred Heart Halftime Show presented by SCM. I'm Gino Ganello. Alongside me is former Pioneers defensive back, Tamaric Wilson. Tamaric, how are you doing today? I'm good, man. Loving this fall weather we're having. It feels like football weather now. Yeah, exactly. Great football weather here today. And let's get right into it. The offense. We'll talk about the Pioneer offense first. Nate Chavius has been exceptional. The one bright spot for them today. How has he been able to find those holes in the defense and, and get big gains off of it? Well, I think it starts up front with the offensive line. He's running on the left side, which is Sean Merrill and Sean Peters. Sean Merrill is a, was an all-conference lineman last year, and you can see it today that they're just going at that left side, and he's getting big plays through it. They're ripping through it. They're running, like, zone schemes, man schemes. They're just, they're just dominating him on the left side. So, you know, Nate's just, they're running, like, stretch plays and zone plays. So Nate had a couple plays, long runs. He had one on the near goal line where he ran. They almost scored a touchdown. He got stopped short. But there was also a big run in the first half. He had uh, down the left side. He actually had two of them off of fake motions. Yeah, and it's definitely led, it's led to the few points here that the Pioneers have had in the first half. But now transitioning to the defensive aspect. Again, they've been a little uh, slumping a little bit here in, the sec in this first half. But one player who's been exceptional for them has been Max Trudeau. He's come off the edge, fantastic, found holes yeah. against that Duquesne line. Yeah. How has he done it? Max is a dog. Max is just a downright dog. I, I play with him, lift it with him. He's just a dog. He finds a way to get it done. He's a strong dude. He has a high motor. On one of the plays, he had a nice, he had a couple QB hits. It's just man on man, and they have to do that. Going forward in the second half, they have to be able to drop eight in the zone and rush three or four and be able to beat their man. Max had a nice QB hit where he just muscled. He had a power rush ripped through and got to the quarterback and hit him. And the quarterback feels and the quarterback is running for his life every time Max come off that edge. So continuing forward, they have to keep on being able to play, drop eight, play man to man. But Max, Delvin Aris, they have to continue to win those battles up front, those one-on-one -on -one battles. And uh, offensively, Nate's doing a great job, but they just have to continue to find ways to get O'Neal open, Byron Barney open, whether it's pick plays or rough routes, they have to figure out a way to get the pass game going because they need to have that balance going forward. You can't just run the ball, especially being down the way they are. Well, let's hope they're listening to this halftime show right here, come <laughs> out in the second are. half a little bit better. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be right back after this with a special guest. Welcome back to the Sacred Art Halftime Show presented by SEM. Now we're joined by fifth year setter for the women's volleyball team, Kiki Robinson. Kiki, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. And Kiki, you've been here for five years, as I just said. How has your experience been here as a pioneer? It's been awesome. I'm originally from California, so being 18 years old and coming 3,000 miles to the East Coast, I was a little timid about it, but um, I've had a great experience. Coach Rob and the volleyball team really welcomed us with open arms, and we've had five great seasons, and we're just looking to, I'm looking to finish my career on a high, so um, academically, I couldn't have asked for anything more. I'm in, like you said, my fifth year, and I'm in my, my MBA program, so I'm super excited for about that, too. Now, you said it's been five great years. What's one moment that just stands out to you over these five years that you're just going to take with you for the rest of your life? So one moment was last year. Um, I had seven of my closest friends. Um, they had their senior night, which is actually my senior night tonight. But um, it was just an incredible thing to see their journey and see how far they've come. And it was honestly one of the best nights of my life. Well, thank you, Kiki, for joining us. We hope to see all you guys out there supporting Kiki and her fellow seniors on their senior night tonight at 7 p.m. at the Pitt Center. Again, thank you for joining us. That's all the time we have for you here. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll get you right back to Freddie and Randy with the first half highlights and get you back to the second half. This has been the Sacred Art Halftime Show presented by SCM.